Hey guys, this is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today I'm reviewing the Alakai Mio Lee. So after getting hit with targeted ads for this shoe multiple times on Instagram, I guess when you review shoes for a living, you're a pretty easy target for targeted ads. I decided to grab a pair because they looked really interesting. I like the style of them and I wanted to know like, okay, is this shoe actually good for training? So I put them to the test. Three pros that come along with this model is number one, I think this is a good warmer weather training shoe. And that's kind of, I think, the intent behind this model to begin with. But with the breathable mesh and this lighter boot construction, and just the overall lightweight feel of this shoe and the rubber on the sole that is designed to kind of give you a little bit more grip on wet surfaces, I could see this being a really good shoe for anybody who wants a nice light training shoe for casual wear in the summer or spring or fall in the warmer months, basically. And then also wearing to the gym for some casual training. Nothing too crazy and I'll talk about why I wouldn't wear these for like some serious cross training in my con section but that being said this is a good hybrid training shoe for warmer months if you want to shoot for some casual wear and for some casual training the second pro with this model and this is something that I think makes this shoe so interesting is this drop in heel feature so Alakai uses this feature in a couple of their shoes and basically this heel counter back here is designed to fold in so you could easily just slip this shoe on and I think that's really interesting because personally I can be very lazy some days and when I'm walking the dogs if I'm just going to grab a coffee or just running errands sometimes I don't unlace my shoes and I jam my foot in and then I ruin the boot and it loses some of its structure this kind of ticks that box so if you are that person who likes going barefoot in your shoes even and just you want to slip on shoe to just wear out and about that's also a trainer that gives you that same level of support and feel as a training shoe this is a pretty cool feature with this model and it makes the shoe pretty dang unique the third pro with this model is that it has a good amount of arch support and this actually took me a little bit of getting used to but with the insole here we have a dual density foam with a gel insert we get a good level of arch support here so if you're somebody who needs some arch support with their training shoes whether you're wearing them to go on longer walks or just on daily wear basis or even to the gym to train in this is a pretty good shoe to look into it gives you a nice level of natural arch support and you don't have to necessarily put in your own custom orthotic or insole to get that support so I could see this being a good shoe for anybody with medium and high arches and they want a little bit of support in their models but that being said let's talk about a couple of cons that I've noticed with the Mio Lee. So two potential cons I could see folks having with the Alakai Mio Lee is number one, the shoe's performance is gonna be a little bit capped. So this is not gonna be my go-to model for serious cross training and serious lifting. So if you are investing in this model, I would say definitely make sure you understand its limitations. So in regard to cross training, I think where this model falls short a little bit is because the upper is so lightweight and because we only have five eyelets that run up, you don't get as much midfoot security. So I noticed that when doing a lot of explosive lateral work, I was having a little bit of foot overhang and the just because of the lightweight nature of the upper. It's great for more casual stuff, but when it comes to like really digging into the forefoot and exploding through, you might notice that the shoe falls short a little bit. Plus the EVA foam midsole isn't the best for deadlifts and squats or heavy lifting for that matter. So I would say if you're going to train in the shoe, definitely keep your training a little bit more light or moderately loaded just to avoid any stability issues. The second potential con I could see folks having is, so with this drop in heel, and while I like that you can easily slip the shoe on, if your shoe runs a little bit long, I could see it being problematic for your socks and pulling them down. And so I noticed this when wearing socks that weren't super tight on my feet. So basically no-show socks that had a little bit of like space in them. When I wore tight no-show socks, it was fine and not an issue. But if you're wearing socks that are prone to getting pulled down, this is definitely a model due to its lighter boot construction that will kind of feed into that. So it could be pretty annoying. So definitely make sure if you're gonna rock this model, you have socks that are pretty tight on your feet to avoid that. But that all being said, now let's talk about the performance of the Alakai Mio Lee because they have been very interesting in the gym to say the least. So when it comes to performance in the Alakai Mio Lee, I'm gonna break this section to a few different parts. I'm gonna talk about lifting, versatile training, shorter runs, and then daily wear. In the context of lifting, this model is okay. It is not my go-to for my heavier barbell days, but for lower body accessory days, this model excels. And so where I started to notice compression, for example, in the deadlift was around like 365 pounds. I obviously went up to 405 to test it again, and that was a little bit more accentuated. So I would say use that as a barometer in regard to stability of the midsole if you're gonna be using this shoe for barbell work. Honestly, I could see this model being really great for wearing on vacation out and about and then going to the hotel gym to get in like a good full body set Session and then wearing them out after that. Like that's where I think the shoe is gonna fit the most and I think that's where the shoe is going to excel. So definitely more casual lifting. For versatile training, the shoe is okay. The midsole gives you a nice level of pop and I do like that arch support, especially if you are somebody who needs that for like hit sessions or classes. And I think the shoe will work if you're doing like more casual class and hit sessions. And I know I keep saying casual in this performance section, 
But like as mentioned in the cons, like if I'm digging into the forefoot and I'm really trying to explode or do a lot of explosive work, I do think the shoe can be a little bit limiting. So I would just say tread lightly if you're trying to use this shoe for hit sessions or classes or even athletic focus work, you're gonna have a little bit of limitations with this model just due to its upper construction and the boot here. When it comes to shorter runs, I kept my mileage in the shoe to about a mile or less. And while it could probably work for like maybe two or three miles, honestly, like I just wasn't the biggest fan of running in the shoe because the arch support and the heel construction, it didn't feel that comfortable for me. So I could see this model being good for like a very quick warm up run or a cool down session. So it will work for like those short pre and post workout runs, but I would say definitely not my favorite model for longer and mid range runs or even doing like quicker 5Ks. For daily wear, I think this is where the shoe excels the most. It looks really good, it breathes really well, and you have the dual functionality of the heel so you can easily slip them on and wear them more like loafers or just wear them casually like this and they look pretty good with a lot of outfits. So I would say in regard to daily wear, this model works really well. You get a nice level of support with that insole, plus the midsole does a good job of giving you enough stability but also being comfortable enough to wear for longer walks and for standing all day. So if you are interested in a training shoe that you can wear very casually for daily wear, this is a good model to look into. So across the board, this model will perform pretty well. It's definitely going to have limitations in certain contexts, and as a daily wear shoe, it works awesome. So now let's answer the question, who should invest in the Alakai Mio Lee? So I think if you are somebody who wants a training shoe for warmer months that has a slight bias towards daily wear, walking and standing, that you can also train in a little bit, this is a really good shoe to look into. The upper breathes really well. I think they have a really good appearance to them. And this drop in heel makes them even more casual for just slipping on and going out and about. If you're looking for a more serious cross training shoe or a shoe designed for lifting, I would say probably pass on this model. But again, if you're wanting something very casual that looks the part that really works well for beach wear or just very casual summer wear, this shoe is definitely worth looking into. So when it comes to sizing and fit in the Alakai Mio Lee, I think most folks should be safe going true to size in this model. The length fits true and the width is a little bit more narrow and neutral. So if you do have a wider foot, you may want to pass on this model and it's definitely going to align best with folks with narrow and neutral width feet. When chatting on price in the Alakai Mio Lee, you can expect to pay $130 USD. Now, personally, I'm a little bit hit or miss with this price point. I think if you match the context of like the who should invest in this model section, then that price point could be easily justified because you'll get a lot out of the shoe and you know what you're getting. I think if you're looking for a training shoe for more serious training and lifting, then that price point is a miss because the shoe is going to be capped with its performance and you can get a different model for $130 USD that will perform better in the gym. So that being said, if you're going to invest in this model, I would just make sure that the context and the intent in which you want to use the shoe align with your needs and wants. So when chatting on the weight, heel toe drop and insole in the Alakai Mio Lee, for my size 10 model here, we have a weight of 11.2 ounces. Now, when it comes to the heel to toe drop, I actually reached out to Alakai's support team twice, and all they did was defer me to the product page, which was not helpful because it's not listed there. But on REI's site, somebody had asked about the heel to toe drop, and they stated that the drop was 8.5 millimeters. So that is something that we can run with and go with for now. And this model does have a slightly higher heel to toe drop feel to it. And then once again, this model does have a removable insole. It is rather thick in nature with this dual density foam and this gel insert, and we get a little bit of arch support with this model's insole. All right, so now let's go over the construction of the Alakai Mio Lee. Up here on the toe box, we have an extended outsole layer that wraps up with a little bit of a midsole edge up here too. Now, I like this construction and I like that there's no exposed stitching, but what I would say is if you're doing a lot of burpees or any form of like sprint get up work where the toe is dragging on something like a concrete surface, definitely keep an eye on this foam up here to avoid it breaking down or running into durability issues. On the upper, we have a breathable mesh. It moves moves pretty well, has a nice level of flexibility to it, and as a whole, it runs from the forefoot to the midfoot until we get back here on the heel. Looking at the midfoot itself, we have some leather layers here on the medial and lateral side. I think that adds to the overall aesthetic of the shoe, and we have five core eyelets that wrap up. The tongue itself has a nice level of breathability and stretch to it, so it does feel very lightweight and very natural. I didn't have any friction issues at all with this tongue, and I like the way it sits as a whole when wearing this shoe casually or to train in. Looking at the heel. We have that drop in heel construction. This does have a leather overlay, which I like for durability purposes, 
especially when you're gonna be using the drop-in heel. So I think you will get a nice level of durability with this feature in this model. And then looking at the midsole, we have a foam midsole that extends the entirety of the shoe. And we also have some additional lateral and medial support here with this foam material, which helps give this shoe's boot a little bit more structure from like a lateral and medial point of view. Looking at the outsole, we have wet grip rubber up here on the forefoot and heel. This rubber is designed to give you a little bit more traction on wet surfaces. And then we have some exposed foam here throughout the midfoot. This could be, I think, problematic if you're doing a lot of outdoor concrete training. So definitely keep an eye on that and this exposed foam midsole layer right here. And then looking at the insole itself, once again, we have this dual density polyurethane insole with this gel insert, and we do have a little bit of arch support with this insole. As a whole, that's pretty much the gist of this shoe's construction. The inspiration for this shoe is pretty interesting, and I would say definitely check out the product page to learn more about this model's inspiration and kind of like why Alakai did some of the design features on this model. But if you have any questions on the construction features talked about in this video, drop a comment down below. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of the Alakai Mio Lee. So prior to investing in this shoe, I went into this model with literally Really no expectations and I like it as a whole. I can see where this shoe fits into certain contexts and certain wants, especially in your training shoe lineup. And I think this model will fit for some folks and their specific needs and wants when they're looking for a casual slash training focused shoe. If you have any questions on this model, hit me in the comments below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always guys, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.